What up, J-Squad? Welcome back to a new vlog. It's your boy, Jose. For you guys that don't know, uh, if you guys are new to our channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified every time we do upload a new video. And don't forget to comment, like, and share. So, guys, uh, for today's vlog, I'm going to go look at uh, new apartments or townhomes. Jimin, she really wants to move into a townhome, so I'm going to go check these townhomes out here right now. The only reason we're about to move is our lease is about to be over. And then another thing, we don't want to renew a lease because there's been several situations or uh, several, what would you call them? Um, I can't think of the word, guys. But uh, incidents where uh, there's been some suspicious stuff going around this apartment complex. Uh, I did get... My work truck broken into a couple months ago. Uh, made a police report and everything. And when I called up to the office, they said that they didn't know who it might have been. And that supposedly their cameras don't work. So, yeah, guys. And then uh, just recently, this past weekend on Saturday, we were here watching the UFC fight with my siblings. And just drinking, hanging out, chilling. Well, I wasn't drinking. I was drinking my non-alcoholic beer, though. But, uh, anyways, one of my cousins, he had tagged me on an article or a post on Facebook saying that there was a murder scene out here at the apartment complex. They found a lady dead on one of these breezeways at a, one of the buildings up front. So, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of things going around this apartment. We're just trying to, you know, find a safe neighborhood for... Me and my kids and my wife, or me and my family, I should say. Um, there's going to be crime no matter where you go, but, you know, you just got to stay safe. Uh, also, the gates here, I mean, I do live in a gated apartment complex, but the gates here, to enter the gate, they've been broken or down for over two to three weeks now, and they haven't been fixed. So, I'm about to go check these apartment complexes or townhomes right now. Uh, Jaylen really wants a townhome, so I'm going to go check them out and record if I can uh, to get a little sneak peek. And hopefully, I could take some Snapchats and send them to her so she could let me know what she thinks of them. But I'm about to go check that out right now. Uh, also, they did cancel work today because it was raining earlier. They had us on standby till 10 a.m., but then at the end, they were like, hey, y'all can just go ahead and take the rest of the day off. So I'm about to go do that. So I'll see y'all here in a little bit. It's such a beautiful day today, guys. It's nice and sunny. It, Like I did mention, uh, it was thunderstorming and raining this morning. But it all cleared up now, and the sun's out, and it's not even that cold. Like It's like a perfect weather to cook out. But, uh, oh, we did get a keto uh, cookbook, so Jenna's going to start cooking a lot healthier now. We're going to go, like, on a keto diet, so hopefully it works out, you guys. All right, guys, so I got here to the apartment complex, um, or apartment, well, they do have apartments and townhomes here. I was in the leasing office trying to get some information. It's real nice in there. Uh, they are doing self viewing, so uh, I'm gonna go check out this uh, apartment and a townhome, and I'm gonna record a little bit and also send some clips to Jaylen see which one she likes better. So I'll show y'all here once I drive over to the, the townhome first, and then after that I'll show y'all the apartment. All right, guys. So this is what the apartments look like out here, and this is the apartment that they have for model for showing. Let's go in here real quick. See what this looks like. All right, so it has some upstairs right there to go upstairs. So I'm guessing the bottom floor, this would be like the garage, you know. Let's see. Now let's head upstairs real quick. They look pretty, pretty nice, pretty decent. So 
this right here guys I guess I'd imagine the kitchen area Yeah, guys, this is pretty much what this townhome looks like. I'm going to get my phone real quick and uh, send some Snapchats to Jalen. So I'll see y'all here in a little bit when we go to the other apartment. All right, guys, so up next, I'm going to show y'all what the flat apartment looks like. I'm going to walk over to it right now. I just found the building. It's kind of confusing to get around here. There's over 40 buildings. I think in total, there's like 41 buildings. So, yeah, it's kind of complicated to get around here, but uh, we're about to go check out the flat apartment and see how it looks, guys. So, come on with me. So, this is a brief way. So, when you walk into an apartment, guys, this is what it looks like. This is what you'll get whenever you walk into the front door. So, this is the kitchen right here. pantry washer and dryer connections like the little living room area and your dining area here I guess little storage closet right here Master bedroom, bathroom. There's a closet. So walk in closet. Your sink. Bath. Or tub. Linen closet. Five, Interstate 35. Uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in and see if y'all can see that target where we go to. Uh, 
trying to focus it. So right outside. Target's back there somewhere. On to the next room. This will be the other bedroom, I guess. Or this might be the master bedroom because it has a bathroom to itself. Like they even got a tennis court down there. Uh, better be this one. Oh damn, the sun's in the way. Let me step back a little bit. Nope, still can't see it. So this is the other bathroom. With the walk-in closet as well. Bathtub. So yeah guys, that's it. This is the flat apartment and the other one was a townhome. See which one Jaylen likes, likes best. And we'll go on from there. I'll wait for her to get off work and then we'll ask her. I did send her some Snapchats. So she said she loved the townhome. I'm about to send her Snapchats of the flat apartment complex now. So see y'all here in a little bit, guys. Dang it, guys. I thought the apartment complex had a tennis courts, but it doesn't. It belongs to the school. There's there's a school right there. And the football field, tennis court, and then obviously the school's over there. I don't know if you were able to see that. Since it is direct sunlight. So anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what y'all thought about the apartment and the townhome. Uh, I kind of like the townhome better, to be honest. So uh, just let me know which one y'all think look better or what's best. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm about to head home and probably pick up the kids and then feed them and then wait for Joanna to get off of work. So yeah, guys. Oh, you know what? I'll probably even take her car to get clean because she has a mess in here because of the kids. It's real messy. And dirty so I'll probably go do that right now surprise her you know all right guys so we are here about to wash Jalen's vehicle and uh, clean it out my car still needs to go to the body shop guys I miss it it's just sitting out there at the apartments parking lot uh, they said they mailed out the check already so I'm about to see what day I take it to the body shop you know so uh, hopefully here soon I miss driving it guys so we're about to go in to the damn drive through car wash and I'll see y'all here in a little bit so I just uh, finished uh, washing Jalen's car and uh, well not washing him because it went to the automatic drive through thing but uh I just finished vacuumed it, vacuuming it right now. So uh, right now I'm gonna head over to my brother's since my brother does have a machine and a thing to clean the seats because they're full of milk, guys. They're all stained because of Josiah and JC. So I'm gonna go uh, clean them off right now with his little machine and try to get rid of these stains from the seats. So yeah, this is what I've done so far all day. Just go look at that townhomes and apartment and then uh clean Jalen's vehicle because it needed to be cleaned badly all right guys as y'all can see What's we that? just picked up the kids Best. or i just picked up the kids say hi hey. we're about to go get Jalen from work real quick head home and eat some and head to the gym guys all right, guys, look who we picked up now. Hello, you guys. You uh, poking your nose? My one like this. <laughs> <I'm just fine. laughs> We're about to head home right now. See what we eat. 
See what they cook up today. Sacaste algo? No. Then Bye. you were, you guys. He was off all day, and he expects me to cook. Y'all know where I went, guys. But we'll okay, you guys. So I just received my order. I had purchased from Pika Pika. Their chamoy. I got this one is spicy mango. Mm -mm, you guys, I cannot wait to try it. And then this one is just a, I guess, regular chamoy. And then it comes with this little note that says, Thank you for your order. It's so good. You have great taste. Enjoy your treats. And then it says, Don't forget to tag us in Instagram. You guys, this ain't too far away from where we stay. It's only about a seven hour drive. It's from Brownsville, Texas. Allá del Valle. And then, I guess these are the. That's the fruit roll. Oh, these are the fruit roll. And then these are the panditas. Hmm? I don't have no more chocolate. You finished it yesterday. And then mm. these are the gusanitos, you guys. Right now, I will open one just to like taste it. And then these are the sour patch. These are the. Oh, I want to try these, you guys. The gushers because I love gushers. Let me try one. Mm, look how yummy they look. Let's try this real quick, guys. Mm. Mm. They're good, you guys. They're bomb. You want? Mm -hmm. There. And then these are the Skittles. These are the extremes. And these were actually on sale, you guys this whole box all right guys so the camera died but as Janelle was saying it comes like in little packets of two ounces yes i think it's 12. oh i guess it's 10 of them i thought it said 12 for some reason but i got this whole thing plus this well this whole packet was 17 dollars and then I think just for each one of these, it's like $6. But like I use Liz Do Makeup's code and it came out to like $42 all together. So yeah, guys, I really do recommend you guys. If you guys want to try some Chila Dulces, these are pretty bomb, you guys. What did you think? Yeah, they're pretty good. I've never tried them. My brother has ordered some, but they're from OBS Candy. And I didn't try those. So, I mean, they're pretty good. I'd probably recommend these, and if we ever get sponsored by them, you know, uh, I'm gonna try these. We'll give y'all a discount code, but like Dana said, I could go watch Liz do makeup and get her discount code from there. Yeah, since I watch her a lot, like her YouTube videos, and even follow her on Instagram and everything, she be posting her codes, and I usually just always use hers, you guys. The banditas, they're like the gummy bears. Mhm. Mm you want to try them on me? But yeah, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we just got back from the gym, or at least I did. Jane got back earlier. I'm about to hit the shower. So this concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and <laughs> enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed today's video. Um, we are planning on actually moving. Uh, Jalen really liked that townhome, I, like I did mention. Uh, I did send her snaps uh we're gonna probably start packing on saturday so whenever we do move to the well not packing but i just told him that i want to like clean out because the outdoor closet that we have the you guys storage yeah the mostly. storage it's like clutter with like boxes of toys like i'm even gonna throw all those toys away that jazz has in there because they probably stink from being in there, like stored, right? And like she has plenty of more toys in her room already. And like 
I want to look through their clothes que ya no les queda to like probably give it away at a donation store or something because they have really good clothes you guys and they probably don't even wear it anymore and shoes too like you guys can ask Jose I have like a big old stack in the closet full of shoes that don't even fit them you know and I was telling him like Friday night we should start like throwing out stuff you know like even in the kitchen I all the seasonings that I don't even use you know like just stuff that we don't need you know so like whenever we do move out we won't be like stressed like oh we still need to clean this out what <laughs> the face I did <laughs> oh like you know like oh we need to clean this out hurry up you know like we'll just pack our stuff that we need to take and that's it so yeah guys, I don't know Jose, well he probably did tell you guys the reason why we do want, like why we want to move out. It's just for our safety and our safety for our, our kids, you know. I wake up early in the morning just with them. Well Jose helps me out sometimes too, you know, but you never know what could happen and especially in these apartment complexes. <laughs> we've heard already like two stuff you know like two incidents and then jose too whenever they stole stuff out of his company truck jose called the office and apparently their cameras don't even work you guys so that is like not even safe you know like i don't know you guys just be safe you guys out there and my friends do live at the apartments in front of this apartment complex there's another apartment complex and he's moving out as well. He's about to move somewhere else due to the fact that uh, this happened. And prior to that, uh, there was a shooting and uh, they were trying to break in and kill someone. I don't know if the guy inside the apartment killed the people trying to break in or vice versa. The people trying to break in killed the person inside the apartment. So I'm not sure what the details on that was. But uh, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, and those apartments that Jose went to go see, they they do actually have a security. Yeah, like going around and stuff. Yeah. When we moved to our first apartments, you guys, it was also like a smaller townhome. And they also had a security, remember? Yeah, they had a security there. Yeah, like every morning we would see like the security like leaving and stuff, you know. And like if stuff keeps happening here, you know, they should already like fix their cameras and have a security here or something because yeah you guys it's yeah scary. and then my friend just told me too because i called him this morning and i told him I'm like hey did you hear what happened here at the apartments the incident that happened he's like yeah he's like that his apartment complex now is trying to put cameras in every building to like you know monitor the whole apartment complex and he said screw that he'd rather you know move to a house so he's gonna do that but yeah you guys it's just hard you know this world is full of just cold-hearted or psycho people you know like now i was like telling my sister-in-law like i bet you like you know like ubers that find out about this they're probably not even gonna want to deliver food here you know or like not even that like even when they take you like you know your food to your door like some actually wait until you open like what if like one day that person like goes inside and tries to like do something you know so it's scary you guys yeah guys so stay safe out there if you can stay strapped <laughs> well like he said i'm where well he's gonna shower first and then i'm gonna shower i told you then she needs to stay strapped too from now on out so maybe <laughs> We'll go look at guns for her. <laughs> well, first we want to get situated in a new place, you guys. Just for our safety reasons. And I know, like, you mothers out there, you guys actually worry about your kids. You know, I worry about mine. Like, what, like whenever Jose's out, you know, and I'm here with the kids, you never know what could happen, you know. So, I told him, you know, this is the second, third accident that we have here. Incident. In incident and you know that's too much and mm -mm. and at least at the townhomes you could put like a ring doorbell so that way you know you could see and then uh when i went to go see yeah. i don't know if you guys heard or was or i don't know if the camera was able to catch like the when you open the door you know how it makes a little ringing noise like the 
like the sensors. Alarm. Yeah, the alarm. Yeah. Uh, I guess they have it set up to where you could put an alarm system, so that's nice too. Yeah, like they explained to to Jose, you know, like you know we're allowed to actually put cameras and stuff. And here we try to remember. Yeah. When we were switching our electricity company, like they offer like cameras and stuff in the company, and we had told them, and they said that they couldn't because some apartment complexes yeah. don't. You know, let you but uh i believe that the other ones they do because i've seen several ton homes when i was you know looking for the one they told me to go see that was a model most of them had a little ring doorbell on there so you know you could see who's at your door and stuff and the sweet thing about it like i like y'all seen uh the garage is attached so that's your first floor second floor would be living room and dining area and then your third floor will be like your bedroom sets or your bedroom area yeah guys that is pretty nice too how it has a garage because when it rains we do also have hard times with the girls you know we have to we have to come and carry them in the parlas and area especially in the school too you know like we have to like abrigarlas really good and everything and well now i'm just gonna have to you know walk downstairs go into the garage without going out or anything or we getting wet or anything and then the babysitter helps me whenever i get to her house she helps me get the kids out so and also especially when it's like raining and stuff and then we go grocery shopping oh, and the yeah. kids fall asleep we can actually leave them in there now yeah with they're the, trying to get them out first without and then, trying to lock the doors yeah <laughs> lock the car you know so yeah, you guys, we just want something better for our family, for our kids. And that's the best thing we're trying to do right now is actually move to a safer community. I mean, everywhere is dangerous, you know, anything could happen anywhere. But, you know, we just want the better for... We don't live like in the hood or anything. It's just not the good side of Haltham City yet. And then I was, I know I talk too much, but I was telling him maybe, like, since our apartments are, like, right by the freeway and, like, I don't know. Like, like a big uh, main road that everybody uses, so there's, like, homeless people around yeah, here. Yeah, so I'm, like, maybe a homeless person, you know, someone just crazy. And then we've also seen, remember, on Facebook how they would share, like, crazy people like doing crazy stuff like, like out showing in, their uh, yeah like showing their private stuff you know doing crazy stuff you guys so that's why i told jose no we like we really need to move out now yeah so yeah guys uh hope you like i said we're gonna close this video out already hope you enjoyed it uh don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you guys are new hit that post notification bell to get notified every time we do upload a video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also comment like and share thanks for watching bye